I feel like 2021 was the year of events. I will say that. Yes. Oh my. <laughs> oh my God. Joining the Connect team, I'm like, holy crap! What are we doing all the time? Like Hey y'all. Hello, hello. It is me, Lauren. It is me, Jamie. This is episode 17 of the What Are We Doing podcast and happy new year, everybody. Happy freaking new year. Ooh, 2022 is upon us. Yes. We're here at Starlin Yard as per usual. Thank mm -hmm. you for letting us record here and thank you um, for hosting us nearly every weekend yes. in 2021. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quite literally, this has been like, I don't know, what, three, four months now know. of doing this, which is crazy. We also, disclaimer, we are uh, recording this episode in advance. I will be out of town. Yes. Uh, the week that this would, that this is going, going to be airing. Yeah. We're so. recording this before Christmas. So if yeah. we say anything that doesn't make any sense and you're like, what? Or yeah. if like some real crazy stuff goes down between now and New Year's mm -hmm. Eve that we don't address, just cut us some slack. All right. Yeah. Wait, just this like, is two weeks out. Just right? <laughs> Two weeks out, whatever. Just roll, just roll with it. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna skip our stories from the weekend because it's just not gonna make sense, but Merry mm -hmm. Christmas. Merry Christmas to y'all. Very nice. <laughs> and to all a good night. Um, so oh we're gonna, God. wow, before we get off on a tangent, that doesn't make any sense. We mm -hmm. are going to tell y'all about our sponsor, Neutral. Y'all have seen this before. You've seen it on Instagram. We yeah. love Neutral. We it do. is a hard seltzer made with real vodka, real juice, and sparkling water. It's super clean. It's like 100 calories, mm -hmm. hardly any carbs. It is 4.5% ABV, so you can sip on it all day. Yeah, it is nice. All New Year's Day, all New Year's Eve, whatever, grab you a neutral. Yeah. Um, Jamie, tell us about these flavors. I know, we have seven flavors, guys. So we introduced last week the Cranberry Variety Pack. So let me just tell you real quick what we got in that specifically. We have Classic Cranberry, Cranberry Orange, Cranberry Grapefruit, and Cranberry Apple. But if you aren't a cranberry person, that is okay because there is the normal neutral pack, which is watermelon, pineapple, and raspberry. What's your top flavor? Mm. Of the normal pack, I think it would be raspberry of the cranberry variety pack, cranberry apple, clearly. That cranberry apple is my favorite one of the entire thing. It tastes like Christmassy, mm. but still light and refreshing. It's not yeah. like a milk-based Christmas drink. It's awesome. It's perfect for the holidays, guys. You just got to yes. grab one for yourself and try it. Pop that baby under the tree. Pop it. Wait, this Ooh. is coming out after Christmas. Wait, ah! uh... <laughs> next year. Next I year. hope that that's what you got under your tree. I mean, you could still put it under the tree. A lot of people don't take it down till the new year. That's so true. That's true. It's okay. It still Just works. Just re-put it down there and be like, oh my god, we forgot one present. Let's crack them open. It still works. Whatever. Look. It's good. <laughs> Thank you, Neutral, for supporting. What are we Thank doing? Thank you. <laughs> so, before we have a guest on today, um, we're going to chat about New Year's Eve. Then we're going to give y'all literally an entire rundown of everything that's happening yep. in this city on New Year's Eve it's and New Year's lot. Day. Um, but before that, we want to kind of reflect mm. on 2021, yes. look ahead into 2022. This is a little, you know, get to know us a little bit personally, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever. What was your 2021 like? My 2021 was like... A lot of change. Mm -hmm. It was honestly, it was a lot of growth for me. I feel like not to be on a serious note, but you know, I changed jobs, which was something I really needed to do mm -hmm. for my mental very well. And then I met you in 2021. Guys, we've only been friends for like a year, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> um, but now we're like obsessed with each it's other. Like so it's like almost our friend anniversary. We're gonna find out the exact date and then you know probably do a Photo we'll post something. our Instagram <laughs> DMs, honestly. So <laughs> at that point, but yeah, so I don't know. It was a lot of change job wise, um, change, you know, relationship wise too. Mm -hmm. Elijah got back from his deployment and uh, four months later got a new <laughs> and had to move again. So, you know, it's really, I've been finding myself a lot this year and, yep. you know, kind of, I feel like I can really be an adult now, which sounds really weird, yeah. but. You know, I just have done a lot of soul searching this year, I guess. But I am very excited for 2022. You know, moving, living on my own for the first yes. time. Yes. And, you know, everything everything else is going good. Just taking things day by day. But I'm very grateful. I'm very blessed. Aww, I love that. My 2021, I adopted a cat in 2021. She did. That was huge. Mm -hmm. um, Cameron moved in with me in 2021. Mm -hmm. That was a big change. Um, I don't know, I feel like my 2021, I feel like I, in like on one hand, have learned how to like be very self-sufficient yeah. and like handle my stuff mm -hmm. while crying the whole time, you know? Like it's like, I feel like I've like just accepted and been honest with myself yep. that like, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Like I got this, I do got this, but like mm -hmm. I need like my family, I need you, yeah. I need Cameron, you know, whoever. Yeah. To like hold my hand sometimes and I feel like that's something that I took away 
in 2021, and it's been really good. Yeah. Um, and then also, I turned 25. Um, yes. I'm so old. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But 25, really, it feels like um, sometimes you know everything, and then sometimes you know nothing. Right. Like, I fully think, like, I don't know anything. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do anything. Mm -hmm. But then sometimes I'm like, I'm 25. I'm, I'm a grown-up. Yeah. So it's like yeah. a weird, weird age, weird year, weird time. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, 2021 was great. Yeah. yeah. I think it was good. I'm definitely year. excited for the... For the new year, though, I have I to say, too. I'm ready yeah. to. I, there's a lot of new things starting, and I think it will all I'm be just good. ready, and we got a lot going on. Like we're both moving. Yes. Twenty, like oh as gosh. soon as 2022 hits, I will have moved into a new place. Finally, found a two bedroom Ooh, that good. allows pets. That knows about my pets. You know, like it's so, like my living situation is going to improve a lot, mm -hmm. and so that's going to be great. Yeah. And um, I don't know. I've also I told you before we started recording, I've signed up for HelloFresh. Yeah. So I feel like that's going to also be mm -hmm. a weird change. That's going to be exciting. Yeah. Cooking. Yeah. I'm excited. I think, you know, whether it's that trying a new meal plan or mm -hmm. whatever it is or living on your own for the first time, it really is learning so much about yourself and just becoming an adult. Like yeah. you said, I mean, there is no freaking book that it's just like, okay, this is what you're going to do every single day. And this right. is what's going to help you learn. And it's just making the mistakes. But I think like we are so blessed to have every day that we have. I know. I know. I feel like 2021 was the year of events. I will say that. Yes. Oh my, <laughs> oh my God. Joining the connect team. I'm like, Holy crap, what are we doing all the we, time? We like became little social butterflies and yeah. I love it. I feel like I know. that's where we're meant to be. Like we're supposed to be out here chatting yeah. with people, telling people what fun stuff they can do. Like I really feel like this podcast was like meant yeah. for me and you because this is yeah. like so our jam. So I feel like that was also a really, really big non-personal takeaway from 2021. I was just going to say 2021, we started this podcast. Like, oh, I can't wow. wait to see where it is like this time next year. I also discovered the bidet. I just want to remind oh, everyone yes. that was a major moment for me in mm -hmm. 2021. It was. Huge moment for me and my butt. It was lovely. <laughs> me and my butt. Oh my gosh. I cannot. Clean butts yes. in 2022. Let us know what your New Year's resolutions are. Also, and how your 2020, 2021, there we go. What was. is your resolution? Do you have one or some? Um, hmm, that's a good question. I don't know. I've thought about it. I mean, I feel like health is always in there. Like, yeah. I felt very, like, tired the past few months. So, mm -hmm. quite literally. So, I kind of want to, like, get back into that. Um, I want to not take things so seriously, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's you a know? good one. Yeah. That's a big Relax. thing for me, being able to, yeah, because I'm just always, like, Ah! Like, <laughs> I mean, I, we always joke that my phrase is never dull because like things are really never dull. But yeah, I think kind of um, taking every day as it comes, you know, stop yeah. trying to plan ahead so much and really being able to live in the moment because I am really bad about that. Yeah. Like, Aww. yeah, especially with Elijah moving and stuff. I'm like, okay, so where are we going to be this time next year? And when are we going to like relax? relax. It will be okay. <laughs> Everything will be That's good. That's a good resolution. That's yeah. good. Yeah. I feel like I have some that are very specific and some that are broad like that, mm -hmm. you know? Like, I don't know. I feel like I want to, like, keep my house cleaner. Not okay. that my house is a mess. Yeah. But, like, now, you know, we do have a dog and we do have the cat. Yeah. So, like, I really want to keep my house nice now that, you know, we're going to move in. I want it to just stay nice year-round. Yeah. I'm going to clean, like, the cracks and stuff more often. Yeah. That's, like, a weird kind of broad one. I also... That's good. Listen to me and hold me accountable on this. This is a fitness one, Okay. Okay. I want to do another half marathon and I want to make it under two hours sometime in 2022. Nice. That's another thing. Um, but yeah, just overall eating better kind of thing. I feel like that's kind of just like my, my resolution. Yeah. Eat better, get stronger, get faster. I feel like we always feel that way after the holidays. That's what probably leads everyone into like new year, new me. Because uh, over the you holidays eat you just like eat. Shit. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say like you're just eating whatever you want and... <laughs> Yeah. Literally, I, we got an email from one of our coworkers this morning that was like, I made little uh, <gasps> cheesecake brownie bites oh. there in the fridge, and I got to work. I was like, breakfast? Like, yeah. I, like, I know. Actually, I'm going to go eat those when we get back. I Thank know. you, McKenna. That was yes. so nice. Oh, God. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, That's guys, good. before we keep going on our, we actually, um, little side note before we keep going, we have talked about doing bonus episodes oh, yeah. where it's like genuinely just kind of like us talking about different things and what we go through and stuff like that. So just mm -hmm. let us know if you would like that. It could be like the couch series or something like the that. The couch series. I did just get that new couch. True. There we go. Done. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of our little tangent about 2021, 2022. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so before we get into it with our guest, she is from Thompson Savannah. Mm -hmm. And they are also a sponsor of this episode. So big shout out to Thompson Savannah. Thank you. For supporting What Are We Doing podcast. Mm -hmm. um, if you didn't know, Thompson Savannah is our city's newest hotel. It is located right on the Savannah River where the historic district meets the Eastern Wharf. 
The luxury hotel has 193 guest rooms and suites. The new restaurant Fleeting is downstairs. Up top there is Bar Julian. Mm -hmm. And there's a pool deck with private cabanas, a sweet fitness room. Really, really awesome things. There's a lot going on down in the top. Yeah, side. it is mm -hmm. awesome. We've been there multiple times to get drinks for events. We were just there last week for, for Culture Lives Here campaign, which they have going on yeah. right now. Lauren knows a little bit more about that since she's done a story with them. But that features a really cool art installation in their lobby curated by local gallerists. Susan Laney, yeah. which is awesome. It's really neat. Part of uh, what the Thompson told me that they're doing whenever I uh, sat down with him about this art installation is that they want it to be somewhere that locals actually want to go because mm -hmm. that not only is cool for locals right here in Savannah, but it's really cool if you're a visitor and the hotel you're staying at is packed with locals. That just like enhances their experience and then overall benefits Savannah as a whole. Yeah. So it's really cool what they're trying to do over there. Um, I also recently took a staycation and mm -hmm. loved it. Yep. Um, me and Cameron, we did just one night for our two-year anniversary. We had dinner and drinks on the roof. Uh, we were going to hang out at the pool, and then I ended up wanting to take a nap. I was like, all right, <laughs> I just got off work. Can I only take a 30-minute cat nap instead of going to the pool? Um, which was lovely because the bed is super comfortable. Mm -hmm. The rooms are sexy. They're nice. They're mm -hmm. like masculine, but not too industrial. They're very cozy. Um, but yeah, the, we can't recommend it enough. Thompson Savannah is yeah. fabulous. And with that, we will lead into our guest, Betty, who's going to tell mm -hmm. you a little bit about New Year's Eve at Bar Julian. We're going to go to her in three. <laughs> I saw you waiting. I'm like, oh. I like to have my tongue out, and I was like, oh, she's still talking. She's still talking. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, so three, three two, two, one. <laughs> All right, you guys, this week we are joined by Betty Woodward. Huh? Welcome, welcome. Thank Betty is a manager you. of Thompson Savannah. Mm -hmm. And uh, today we're going to be talking about the hotel's first ever New Year's Eve party. We are yes. so excited for this. So tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so I am just as excited. Um, Thompson Savannah opened up middle of this year, mm -hmm. and Bar Julian is by far just the most beautiful spot. Um, you get these breathtaking views of the river and the city and the bridge and everything. And so we're hosting our first New Year's Eve party up there um, from 9 a.m. to 1 o'clock or 1 a.m. I'm sorry, 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. I was like, wow, uh, that's a long day. Yeah, <laughs> it's a big party day. Uh, and it's just going to be a really great time. We're going to, you know, have um, unlimited signature cocktails. So we have this amazing cocktail program up there that uh, Chelsea runs for us. Um, so our director of um, bars. Um, and she's just wonderful there. Um, and we will have a couple surprises for you guys, some pastor drifts as well, cool. of course, a DJ. Um, and I think we're just, we're pretty lucky. We're just gonna have the best views, I think, of of, of all in New Year's, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You'll probably like be able to see anybody who's doing any kind of fireworks yes. from up there. Yes, yes. So little known fact, everyone should know, mm -hmm. um, we are actually the tallest rooftop bar in Savannah. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're not kidding when we say we have the best views. So you really can see it all. So you can wave to your friends at the other parties, uh -huh. let them know how much fun you're having. <laughs> like, no, like actually science says we have the best views. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> like, yes. Quite literally. We don't just say it. that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, so cool. Yeah. And so where, what is your background? Where are you from? How did you get at the Thompson Savannah? Yeah, so I'm from DC okay. and I used to work for the company um, back in the day mm -hmm. um, at a smaller property in Capitol Hill. Um, and this opportunity presented itself. Uh, they were looking for a director of restaurants, bars and events. Uh, and I just couldn't pass it up. You know, mm -hmm. the property is brand new, it's beautiful. The location, Savannah, just kind of everything about it seemed perfect to me. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, everyone's like, have you ever been to Savannah? And I said, nope, but here we go. <laughs> Let's go. Um, so I just kind of jumped in and it's been wonderful. Um, you know, like I said, the property's beautiful, but the team is honestly really, really great. Mm -hmm. um, so many talented people on my team. Uh, and so I love it. Like I work long days, but it's so much fun. Mm -hmm. um, the All the outlets are beautiful. Uh, and I just can't wait to see what we're gonna do next year. Yeah. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so have you, put on New Year's Eve parties at other mm -hmm. places before? Definitely, but none of them had the views we had. Ooh, I was gonna ask <laughs> why gonna uh, have this one the best. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, I've been in a beautiful restaurant before, that's a given, mm -hmm. um, but I'm really excited about what it's gonna look like from the top of Savannah, where you can see just this crystal clear view of the fireworks and the rivers, mm -hmm. uh, river. Uh, so I think it'll be, it'll be a good time. And I'm signature excited. Signature cocktails too. That sounds very exciting. Yes. I was about to say, do you have a favorite? Um, so I think the spritz me is going to be perfect mm. for this holiday. It's a little bit of bubbles, mm -hmm. a little bit of strawberry, a little bit of lemon, um, aperol, obviously, since mm -hmm. it's called the spritz. Um, and I think it's going to be absolutely perfect for 
the new year. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mentioned we have a surprise for you guys as well. We um, have this really amazing cart that was handmade for us in Europe. Wow. Um, and we haven't used it yet. So we're going to use it for New Year's Eve. We figured this was the perfect occasion to put it into uh -huh. rotation. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to have a surprise cocktail coming out of that. It's going to be a lot of wow factor to it. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Wow. Yeah. I'm really excited. It sounds like people happening. can come to the Thompson for a new experience. Yeah. Obviously, it's y'all's first exactly. ever thing, but it sounds like you're going to have exactly. some, like, set you apart yeah. kind of vibes. Yeah, oh. and that was kind of what we asked ourselves. We're like, okay, so there are other rooftops mm -hmm. um, in Savannah, and some of them, you know, are downtown. So what's going to make us special? Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely the view, uh, and it's definitely the people, and, of course, the signature cocktails. And, you know, the added little bonuses, little touch points, as we call them, that are going to make it just a really, really great night. Love it. And it's cocktail attire, too. Yes. Yes. So getting all fancy. If you're going to go into New Year, you have to look good. Mm -hmm. Start the New Year yes. out yes, right. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. These sparkling tops be perfect. <laughs> <Sparkles>. <laughs> exactly. If you're not sparkling into the New Year, I don't know what you're doing. What yet. are you doing? Yes, what? exactly. <laughs> Excuse exactly. me. What are we doing? <laughs> yes. Yes. I cannot. That is oh. so exciting. I'm excited for you Thank guys. Thank you. This is your first one. Yeah. I think it'll be great. We just need people to know about it. Come mm -hmm. on out. Uh, I promise it won't disappoint. Mm -hmm. It's just, yeah. it'll be a magical night. So I have a not Thompson directly related question, but I just want to talk about New Year's. Yeah. What has been your favorite New Year's Eve you've ever had? Oh. Personally, whenever, you know. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> I know, right? Um, I don't, so I went to a party. I don't remember where it was. It was definitely mm -hmm. in D.C. Um, with a ton of friends. And I just, it was, it's really the people, right? Mm -hmm. Right. That, that make yep. the New Year's. Um, yeah. That's why you have to get your friends together and all come to Julian on New Year's Eve. <laughs> Um, but I just remember the end of the night, you know, just, I think that the trick is to have a blast, but uh -huh. remember the end of your night. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> um, make, make it to midnight. midnight. Yes, <laughs> make it to midnight. Exactly. Um, and I, I just, I think that's, what's going to make it. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 I yeah. agree. My, um, I think one of the funnest New Year's that I ever had was weirdly last year because um, I it was we talk about oysters all the time on this podcast. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. kind of like a running joke, yeah. but it was the first time I actually did a real oyster roast. Yeah, and I was like, oh my gosh! Like I think the oysters set it apart for me. It was yeah. fabulous. Yeah. yeah, oh, I love oysters. Yeah, you need those little details that will make every different they one do. memorable yeah. and how it's going to be different, and that's how this one will be yeah. different for a lot of people. Exactly. And for you guys. Exactly. And I'm excited. I feel like a lot of people probably did the at home thing last year, so yeah. I think it's time that we all get out and we put yeah. on our dress and go. Yeah. I I mean, that's okay. what I did. I was asleep by 1030 yeah. last year, yeah. if we're going to be very honest about it. Right. <laughs> uh, but I'm, I'm done with that, you know, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to be on property, mm -hmm. make sure everything's perfect for everybody. Amazing. Uh, and I, yeah, I actually like I want to be there. And that's yeah. what's crazy about it. Like the, the GM that mm -hmm. runs the place, Cartier, she wants to be there. Right. Like yeah. everyone wants to see this great party. Um, so yeah, so I was going to say, are you going to be in attendance to your own party? I yeah, so. of course, of course. Oh my gosh! So Every exciting. great hostess is at all of her parties. True. <laughs> True. True. Right. So where can people get tickets for this? Um, when can they get tickets? Until is there a deadline for that? Um, until we sell out. So if people are thinking about it, they should do it now. Mm -hmm. um, you can go to our website, barjulian.com, and get tickets there. There's a link right at the top. Um, you can also get them in-house because we know that once you're there, so if you're having drinks or dinner right now and you're like, man, this place is beautiful, I want to come to New Year's, mm -hmm. you can purchase your tickets right there. Cool. But I definitely recommend going online and doing it, yeah. Okay. It's really easy, though. That is good to know. Is yeah. there anything yeah. else happening at Thompson Savannah that we can look forward to in 2022. Yes, yeah, so yes. we're going to do a wonderful um, Valentine's Day celebration, Ooh. Julian. Uh, we're still sorting out the details, but if you've been there, you know that the views are spectacular at sunset. So we were mm -hmm. thinking, what better place to be for Valentine's Day? Um, and we're going to have a lot of great programming up there, um, a lot of visiting chefs and just really mm -hmm. fun stuff at Julian. Yeah. That is so exciting. So yes, there there are other things to look forward to as oh, well. Oh yes, yes. That's We're already thing. thinking about you know Fourth of July mm -hmm. and yep. summer. I mean, all of that's on our radar. I know everyone's still bundling up right now. <laughs> Y'all kind of glue my elbow whenever it gets warm. Yeah, this pool deck is awesome. Yes, and we're going to be ready for your, for the pool. Yay. Amazing. So oh, great. Do well, I can't wait. wait. I don't think so. I'm excited about that Valentine's party. It's going to be great. It's very romantic yeah. up yeah. there. It's going to be exclusive, romantic, perfect way to kick off the weekend. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. We're so of excited course. for you guys. Thanks for party. having me. Yes. I hope to yes. see you guys. Yes. See you at the Thompson. Yeah. Yes. Get your tickets before they run out because I feel like that will be Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Out. Absolutely. Sure. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so thank much. You so thank much you, ladies. Honey.
I'm not going to be in town, but I'm kind of sad. It, it sounds, sounds like, like it's going to be fun. I yeah. hope that I'll, I'll make it there. I'm not sure of my plans yet, but that's uh, top of my list. True. Yeah. Check it out, guys. So before we get into the What Are We Doing segment, we do want to shout out Morgan Ray Boutique. Mm -hmm. They are a sponsor of this episode, and we are actually wearing some Morgan Ray today. We will get into that and, as usual, show you all pictures, videos. Um, but Morgan Ray Boutique offers sophisticated contemporary clothing and accessories at a price point that is achievable for every customer. Mm -hmm. No matter your age, shape, or your size, Morgan Ray is here to help you with all your styling needs so that you look and feel your best. Yes, and we mm -hmm. love owner Morgan Bryant. She is amazing. Her and her staff genuinely really do take time to learn who you are, your styles, your yeah. favorite designers, whatever they think you're going to like they will pick out for you genuinely every time we go in there morgan's like yep lauren you're wearing this jamie you're wearing this like and she, she never is spot misses. on no nope. yeah <laughs> every single time so you guys definitely need to check that out they are awesome over there and it's kind of like a good hangout spot too it's whenever cool. we it's go in there we fun. <laughs> it's um on 301 west broughton street upstairs mm -hmm. so go check that out yeah. um we're also going to tell you a little bit about the outfits that we are wearing right now I've got on this super cool little like turtleneck top. Um, it's got sequins all over it and they're that real iridescent kind of sequin. Um, so whenever you hold it up to like my blue jeans, it's blue. Whenever I have it on with the neon shorts that we're about to show you in this video, it's kind of got like a neon yellow green hue to it. Whenever you wear pink lipstick, it'll probably be pink. It's like. super, super cool. And it's got like a really neat little cutout back with like a little U shape. Mm -hmm. Super beautiful, very, very fun for New Year's Eve. Yes, yes, definitely. And you have your shorts too. Yes, yeah, I'm pairing it with these little neon green little flounce shorts. They're mm -hmm. adorable. We're a little cold right now, so yeah, we're, we're showing right those now. in the video. <laughs> for me, I am wearing, I feel like a gold disco ball right now. Mm -hmm. I'm loving it. Perfect for New Year's Eve as well, if you can tell our little trend here. Mm -hmm. So we were talking, it has a little bit of a cutout in the chest, yeah. which is really pretty, and it shows a little bit of your shoulder, not too much. And in the back, there's a cutout as well. So it is very, uh, wear a strapless bra, mm -hmm. friendly in that way. Um, but no, it is very comfortable. I think it's perfect for New Year's Eve, and we have it paired with a kind of like red maroon leather skirt. Super Very cute. Nice. Yes. We thank you it. to Morgan Ray Boutique for sponsoring the podcast. Yes. Thank, thank you so you. much. We love you. Perfect. Jamie. Oh. Jamie, I want you to know I'm freezing. <laughs> and I also too. want you to know I have just like one question for you. <laughs> Are you getting hypothermia too? I am, Jamie. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Jamie. Jamie, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing, Lauren? <laughs> I hope they can hear that. What? I hope so. The turn what? your volume all the way up. And all then right. turn it all the way down. <laughs> um, Every single one. We are skipping uh, Thursday because yes. there is so much going down on New Year's Eve, which is Friday, and mm -hmm. New Year's Day, which is Saturday. Yes. Buckle up, folks. All right. Happening on Friday, December 31st. We already know what's going down at the Thompson. You can rewind if you need the details again. Check it out. Mm -hmm. Also going down on Friday, Sparkle and Shine rooftop party at the Lost Square. So head to the Lost Square on the roof of the Elite Y'all for a New Year's Eve party. Mm -hmm. Tickets to this are $200 and they include an open bar, hors d'oeuvres, music by DJ Fancy Parker, a that. midnight champagne toast, and a photo booth. Mm -hmm. Head to Eventbrite for those tickets. Cute. Then uh, also happening on New Year's Eve is the Downtown Countdown at Repeal 33. So ring in 2022 at Repeal 33, there will be an elevated chef's tasting menu, mm. specialty New Year's Eve cocktails, music, dancing, a champagne toast, and a ball drop celebration. This entry is free. So this is a free event you can go to. It's cash bar. Good. Awesome. Also happening Friday night is the Hollywood Ball at Perry Lane and the rooftop party at Peregrine. So they've got two options. The ticketed option, we're going <laughs> to, ready, venture back in time to an era <laughs> of grace, glamour, and romance at the Hollywood Ball at the Perry Lane Hotel. Ticket, those are the loudest keys I've ever heard. I'm sorry. <laughs> She definitely Same. heard me. Sorry, ma'am. Um, <laughs> tickets to the Hollywood Ball are $210, and they include an open bar, hors d'oeuvres, dessert, a live band, and more. If you're looking for a free event, then you can pop over to the Peregrine. They're going to be having just a classic New Year's Eve rooftop party. Um, they're going to have a bar there with great views of the city, and again, this one is free. No ticket required. Nice. We yeah. are splitting these up because there are so many. <laughs> so on to the next 40-volume New Year's Eve Charity Masquerade Ball. So 40-volume salon will be transformed this New Year's Eve into a masquerade party featuring the Georgia game on TV, which is hilarious. Love it. So you can get two different types of tickets. We have the VIP tickets, which are $100. That is early entry to the event. You get valet parking, which is amazing. A private concert with harpist Kristen King. A whiskey 
whiskey tasting tasting bar. There we go. Two drink tickets. That is that. General admission tickets are $50 and include a champagne toast, hors d'oeuvres, and a one drink ticket. As mentioned, the game will be on the TV. People will be dancing and drinks to benefit the Cavalier Fund. Neat. Very nice. Next is meant to be Mojito, New Year's Eve masquerade party. Another one. They have their new speakeasy in the back. Well, their new part of it. Their new entrance, I guess. Yeah. That will be starting at 8 p.m. Enjoy appetizers and midnight toast and DJ Blue all night. Next for you, New Year's Eve Grand Tasting at 208 Wine Bar. I was just talking to them about this. The other week, they have amazing views of the river. I'm just going to say that, and especially for the fireworks, too, oh, which yeah. is awesome. But bid farewell to this year with the Wine Bar. They will be hosting a tasting night where guests will receive a passport. Amazon just pulled up, y'all. Sorry, guys. Passport to taste five of the world's greatest wines. <laughs> Tickets are $150 and include the passport, unlimited house wine, delicious bites, and a midnight champagne toast. Dude, unlimited house wine I know, is I was dangerous. Like, mm, if you are a wine person like me, yes, get yourself there. Shoot. I know. <laughs> Last one for you is Cirque de Masquerade. Wow, so many masquerades this I year. I love it. Add rocks on the roof. Head to the roof of the Bohemian Hotel for live music, Bohemian punch, a champagne toast, snacks, and party favors. Take Tickets to this masquerade themed night are $60. Amazing. Have you ever done the whole New Year's Eve football game thing? No. Girl, it is fun. It is fun. I did it in Tampa and it was the longest day of my life because uh, kickoff was at like 11 mm -hmm. or something. So we started tailgating at 8 and then somehow survived to midnight. It was horrible. Horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. Don't, I don't recommend. Alrighty. <laughs> um, happening on New Year's Day on Saturday the 1st, the, this, get, get ready for this title, you guys. <laughs> dinner Detective Interactive Murder Mystery Dinner Show. Nice. Jesus. This is going down <laughs> at the Hilton Garden Inn from 6 to 9. Basically, it's a murder mystery dinner show. Um, check it out. Also happening on Saturday, New Year's Day at Service Brewing. Service Brewing will have 16 beers on tap, plus a special $18 bucket of six limited release lagers. This is my dream. Strange Bird <laughs> Food Truck will be there from 1 to 5, and they got live music at 1.30. That is awesome. Next, we have New Year's Day Oyster Roast. We're always talking about oysters, oysters on, this podcast. Come on this podcast. Yet again. Every every single time. <laughs> two Tides Brewing Company right behind us. Mm -hmm. Join Two Tides for their annual Oyster Roast to kick off 2022. This year, the event will be private, so it is a ticketed event for $20. Guests will enjoy oysters, a sampling of beers, a specialty bottle. Oh, and specialty bottle pours. There we go. Oh. Lake and Love and the Fellowship of Love will be performing at two. By the time this comes out, the event might be sold out, so just check that out on Facebook. Double just check. in case. I'm I'm sure it is, but if there's a ticket, grab it. Just in case, and the last one for you, New Year's Day at the Gray. Head to the yard on New Year's Day from 12 to 3 for all-you-can-eat oysters, yet again, and fried chicken. Tickets are $40 per person, and you can get yours on Eventbrite. So many That's things. If y'all, look, y'all got nothing but options on New Year's yep. Eve and then just wake up and keep the party rolling on Saturday. So many things You're compared welcome, to last year. Folks. I'm excited. So as usual, uh, we want to thank Starlin Yard for mm -hmm. hosting uh, this podcast and shout out what they have going on this weekend. On um, the 31st, New Year's Eve, they are going to have uh, live music from DJ Doc Ock. <laughs> He's going to be spinning some end of the year dance tunes mm -hmm. from 7 to 10 p.m. Um, and then on Saturday, we've got music from DJ Jose Ray from 7 to 10. So uh, thank you always to Starlin Yard and thank you to our other partners, Neutral, Morgan Ray Boutique, and Thompson Savannah. So thank many you so much. this episode. And per usual, make sure to keep up with us on social media. You can follow us on Instagram at What Are We Doing Sav. And make sure to follow Connect Savannah, our home paper at Connect Savannah. And if you have events, you want to sponsor an episode, anything like that, give us an email, what are we doing sav at gmail.com. Happy New Year, everybody. 2022, y'all. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> That's I it. Bye.